Okay. Uh, so we're here with Sydney, Justine, and Lauren uh, for the John Murphy Center of Human Rights. Um, so we just had a couple questions to ask you guys. Um, I guess we'll start with Sydney. Uh, in the Canadian context, is there any human rights issues that uh, you feel uh, are really vital? Um, is it personally or in the Canadian context? Sorry. Yeah, I'd say there are. Yeah? I guess I just think of the missing sisters mm -hmm. yeah. issue yeah. and how there are a lot of missing Indigenous women. Yeah. That's not okay because the government is not doing anything about that. Substantial anyway. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you one question? Uh, why, why do you think that uh, issue still persists to this day? And are we doing enough to, to combat that issue? I think that there's a lot of... I'm not sure that racism is the right word, but there are a lot of stereotypes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's definitely a stigma about the Aboriginal community. Yeah. And so I think people just don't want to deal with it because it's really easy to rush them through the road. That's true. That's true. For sure. And so obviously we're probably not doing enough, right? No. Yeah. Okay, okay perfect. Uh, Justine, uh, similar question. Is there any human rights issue that you feel uh, really vital about? Or? Sydney took mine. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we can expand on it. Yeah. Uh, well, just another one is like reproductive rights for mm -hmm. women in particular. I think uh, there's just. There's been a lot of push for government policies that are really invasive into women's bodies and I really think women should be able to make that choice for themselves and not have a bunch of like old white straight dudes make that decision for them. So. And uh, I guess we have more. Yeah, I guess we spoke to her. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think the missing and murdered Indigenous women is something that like we really need to call more attention to and it's difficult because where a lot of the locations where a lot of this is happening, we also have to convince the um, police and our, you know, law reinforcement there that these are problems too. And, you know, there's this whole stigma associated with it. Same with women's reproductive rights. You know, in Canada, we're we're doing okay. We're a lot better than some other places. But even though these services are still available to women, um, they're nowhere near as available as they should be. Um, you know, for a woman, if she wanted to get an abortion, it's really difficult if you don't happen to live in the right place. You know, it's it's scary still to say that I'm going to get an abortion. I need to have an abortion, or I would if I were in that scenario. And I think we need to build a framework where women can come together and talk about that without being judged, without having um, people tell them that they're going to hell and that they're evil for it. Because everyone deserves to make that choice for their own. You know, pro-choice is not pro-abortion. It's a choice for everyone. And I think like that's a dialogue that needs to happen more. So just a general question for all of you guys. You guys brought up really important points about women's rights, stigma uh, against stigma uh, against races. Uh, it's brought like, a bunch of other issues, right? What is a, at least one way that we can start or begin to combat these uh, these issues? Is it through advocacy or is it through um, formal legislation or, or what is it? Anyone can take, take that. Uh, well, I think like just a good place to start is stop making these topics like so taboo because there's definitely like like you know it's easier not to address the fact that there's thousands of missing aboriginal women than like to bring that up and be like look nothing is being done about it and also like with abortion we're okay not talking about it but i think we should really just like like if we start it at a younger age i think then it's easier to like keep it going and not make people afraid to talk about these things. So possibly through the formal education system. Exactly, yeah, yeah. definitely. you guys have any other Yeah, I think growing up as a child of two teachers, um, I think there's a lot that can be done with our education system, specifically in Alberta. And I think like coming into university and like learning all these things that weren't taught to us <laughs> as children, that we're actually, it's really vital information that we're missing out on, where whether it has to do with our bodies or our history. And I think that there needs to be a combination of things. I think legislation is really important. We need something more there. But education and just creating more safe spaces to help end this stigma. I don't think there's one magic fix. It's going to be a lot of work and a lot of time. And a lot of people are going to have to put a lot of work into it. But, yeah. City, did you have one last thought? Yeah, I just think that communication is really important about this because I feel uncomfortable bringing it up and I shouldn't because it's a pretty, it's a big issue. Yeah, and everyone knows about it. But yeah, I think just communication.
function in education. Cool. Uh, so just like one last question on a minor note. What does it mean to be Canadian? The most overused question ever. Uh, <laughs> um, <yeah. laughs> what does it mean to be Canadian? Um, I think it's just being who you are and letting other people be who they are. Right. Yeah. And just being a good person. Yeah. Really. I think it's having the opportunity to express yourself and your beliefs in a safe space. And I think that's something that we're almost there, we've almost achieved, but there's still a lot of work to go. But I think the root of being Canadian, it's this is a place where we can all, you know, coexist peacefully and have this like dialogue between ourselves without being mean and judgmental and making people feel inferior because of who they are. City? Yeah, I'm gonna go with that it's about embracing where everyone's from because yeah. we're not all from here. Yeah. No. And it's yeah. about being accepting of everyone's backgrounds and history and experiences. Cool. For sure. Awesome. Thanks a lot guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you.